Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating a tower like this in Rhino. So as you can see, this tower has uh, different parts like these uh, exterior elements uh, which are in a spiral shape and also a main body which is uh, this poly surface you can see here and its material is glass and those levels uh, inside this tower so uh, I'm going to open a new Rhino and now I'm in its top view so the first step is to uh, use a point as the center of uh, the uh, body of this tower so I type point hit enter and then uh, I should define uh, the coordinate of this point on this uh, C plane. So I type 0, 0, 0, 0 and then uh, hit enter and as you can see the point is created on uh, the center of this grid. So the next step is to create the circles because we want to make that body part uh, with loft uh, command. So I type circle and choose this point as the center of the circle and I type for example um, 5 again I choose this uh, circle and type offset and 5 I think is gonna be good and again uh, Control C and Control V this circle. So I click on this uh, BR circle and move it to, for example, uh, 20 meters up and choose one of those uh, little circles and move it to, for example, 60. Okay, it's too high I think so I bring it down for example to this point and after that I will create the uh, surface with loft choose these circles in turn and then right click right click and okay that's it that's the uh, main body so after that I will create a vertical line from this point Okay, and then uh, I will extract ISO curves on uh, this surface. So I choose extract ISO curve, click on uh, the surface, and for example, here I want this uh, ISO curve. So now I'm going to create a rectangle as uh, a section for the sweep uh, lines that we are going to create so click here and then click here and make a copy from this from here to here now we should create that uh, element that we want on the uh, exterior side so I type sweep sweep one because we have uh, we have one rail click on the rail and then the sections right click right click and OK then choose uh, this element and type cap to make it a poly surface. And after that, click this. And um, you have to array polar this element uh, around the, the center of this circle. So I go here and choose polar array. And choose the center and the number of items would be, for example, um, 20. 
it's I think too much for example I will change it to 17 and right click so now we have it um, I will choose all of them and then make a group okay so uh, the first steps are done and next step will be creating those levels so uh, I choose this surface and I go to um, front view and then contour from here to here with uh, the three meters length between uh, each level so right click and now make them a group and extrude them with uh, for example uh, 30 centimeters width that's it okay and now I will uh, choose them make a group okay okay and now we click on the surface and make offset surface from it with the width of for example 25 centimeters and right click okay uh, the next step will be create uh, a spiral shape for these elements here so I go to front and choose the uh, twist and now we should define uh, the uh, axis of twist so I change the view view to uh, wireframe and now I will choose from this part to for example this part okay and now I will make a rotation for example like that okay change it again to shaded and now we have our spiral shaped tower so this is uh, the main uh, commands that you have to use for creating this but another one is to click all all parts and type cage edit click on bonding box and right click and now uh, four points for uh, X four points for Y and four points for Z right click right click and click on your filters choose control points with uh, right clicking on this uh, control points and now we can do some changes like this okay and um, a little bit like that okay so uh, I will change its layer to layer 1 change object layer and make a material uh, for it a custom material and choose the color of it for example on this because it's a glass transparency for example 85 percent or 79 and reflectivity should be high glass finish should be high and hit ok change the color of viewport uh, material to black and change it to arctic as you can see we have created our tower 
uh, and I hope you have enjoyed the video because it's so easy you can create anything you want in Rhino and there are multiple ways to um, you know create anything you want in Rhino it's so easy it has various uh, ways to create different things in it so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you have any other questions you can uh, write it down in the comment sections and I will answer it uh, see you in the next videos and tell me if you want any specific tutorial about creating anything in Rhino. See you later.